Welcome to She Rocks, the Prog panel. I'm Joe Kendall from Prog Magazine, and joining me today we have Jackie McShee from Pentangle, Mariana Zemkina from I'm the Morning, Anna Murphy from Cellar Darling, Heather Finley, solo artist, Christina Booth from Magenta, Sharon Chevin, PR from the Publicity Connection, and Catherine Jackson from the Radar Festival. Um, so let's start. Progressive music is traditionally viewed as a male-dominated genre, but is it still so? Jackie, can we start with you? I think it is, actually. I mean, there are more women. I mean, when I started, there were very few women. And uh, I did feel quite vulnerable at times. But I think now, I think because of the, of the media, I think women are stronger now, thankfully. So um, Pentangle was active in the late 60s. Yeah, 67 to 73. And then we re... That's right. Got together rebooted. again later on. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, who else was in the in the scene when you were actually out and about? Oh, well, there was Davy Graham, Ralph McTell. I'm going. These are all men, aren't they? They are. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. What about I the mean, women? Um, well, there was Maddie Pryor. And there was Sandy Denny, who sadly we lost in uh, 1978. Um, there weren't that many women, and I remember when. I was working with John Remble just as a duo. He said, uh, uh, well, we're going to form a band and you're going to be the girl singer. The girl singer. OK. <laughs> I went, all right. OK. Well, hopefully we have moved along a little bit. Sharon, um, when did you come into the prog scene? Um, the first show that my first serious boyfriend took me to was Yes, when I was... I was giving my age away, isn't it? I was 16 and that was it. I was addicted, I'm afraid. And did you see a lot of women in the audience? Uh, I can't remember. I was I was very excited. Of course, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, so for other people who are in the panel as well, are, are we seeing more more women getting involved now, or are we still feeling that it's a bit male dominated? I actually have a feeling that even though I started only a few years ago, maybe like five, I am already noticing this very positive change with a lot of um, uh, women working in the genre, even here in the United Kingdom. Uh, which is very, very nice. And it's still, I'd say, male-dominated, but we're doing much better. Absolutely. Heather and Christina as well, you sort of from like a, a, a sort of middle period, bridging the um, era that Jackie's been starting and the newer people. So how have you found it? Um, it's certainly largely male-led, but for me, um, when I started out in most the autumn, 23 years ago, something like that, um, we had a female Lampy, who then became our flute keyboard player, my sort of um, right-hand vocal woman, Angela Gordon. Um, and then I ended up in, in the lineup that had Olivia and Anne-Marie Helder in it as well. So at one point we had four women in the band. So mm, it dominating. Was kind of, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Um, but yeah, my experiences have been, have been pretty good, really. Um, but yeah, Definitely, in terms of the, the technical side of things, it tends to be male-led in, in progressive music. And what about the fans? Yeah, again, I, I think certainly over the 20-odd years that the female audience has grown, but it's still definitely male male-dominated. Um, Anna, um, what kind of people are you seeing coming to your shows? All kinds of people, actually. Um, the, I don't, it's not something I really consciously think about, to be honest, because I'm always kind of drifting off into my weird little world. Um, but I feel that our audience is very mixed, which is, which is really great to see. And all the women that I know in, in progressive music or also in, in other bands are very strong. And it's very inspiring to see 